It's a simple question, Maxie. Why are you here? Because the police are going to get a search warrant on this place sooner or later. My guess is that it's going to be sooner, and I don't want them finding any compromising photos Franco might have taken of me. Well, I doubt these pictures are worth your life. That just means you don't know me very well. Okay. What if Franco would be here? Then I will convince him to give me the photos and do the shoot for Crimson. I see. You're really not getting this. Franco is a killer, and no one knows how to stop him. Give me some room. Jim McFranco could come back here. You're just invading my personal space. What, what if this is a trap or, or a setup or something? If it were, we would both be dead. And I would really like to get this over with and get out of here. So maybe you should be helping me. All right, fine. What are you looking for? You'll know it when you see it. Is it really worth risking your life to get these pictures? If these photos get to the media, I won't have a life. Kate will fire me, as she should, for being stupid. I made Crimson look bad, and, and I took compromising photos taken by a psychopath, which means nobody else will be hiring me either. Okay, I'll help you look, but let's just make it fast, okay? Oh. What, what is it? There's specs for a bomb. Well, how do you, how do you know that that's for a bomb? It just looks like a bunch of sketches and some numbers. I call it an educated guess. Well, it could be a setup for his next art installation, so maybe we should just calm down and, and take a deep breath and look at Franco for what he really is, a strange uh, artist who's very weird, but probably not dangerous. Hmm, yeah, tell that to Sam McCall. You know, the more I think about that, the more I believe that Sam really is okay. Franco probably just convinced her to let him take some pictures and they're off someplace artistic. Yeah, then why hasn't she called? Because Franco likes to be really mysterious. I'm sure Sam is annoyed, but he wouldn't hurt her. Well, I disagree with that. Look, everything Franco does is, like, for show. It, it, it's like Spinelli, kind of, you know? Franco gets this idea of something in his head, like death. And he wonders, you know, what it's about, who's responsible for it, all those icky chalk outlines. He thinks about nothing else. Makes piles of piles of money off of it. Just like Spinelli in his, his Mighty Warriors of the Cosmos Part 9. What, the video game? Yeah, Spinelli loves it. He got it and got to the last level and racked up a zillion points in just a few hours. Just like Franco makes a fortune off his interpretations of violence and death. Y you know, that actually makes sense. Yeah, Franco manipulates these dark images to make them say what he wants as an artist. But sometimes, like Spinelli, he forgets where reality ends and the game begins. Okay, Maxie, listen to yourself. If this guy is losing his grip on what's real and what's fake, He's more dangerous than ever. Hey, Frank was more dangerous than we thought. He's building a bomb. This has got to be a faster way to do this. Yeah, the rail yard encompasses a large and poorly identified area with numerous vaguely referenced rental properties. It's very difficult to find a mark. Okay, then we need to narrow the search. See if you can access any kind of delivery records and see exactly where they came from. Okay, and bomb materials would include... Um, Plastique, wires, yeah. uh, timing devices, yeah, stuff that's not normally delivered to train yards. Understood. Hey, maybe, uh, try and find some parking tickets or, or noise violations, anything, the number that would be public record. Yeah, from what Lulu and Carly said, Franco drives a black sports car. Which, that also wouldn't be in a rail yard. Look, this guy's been pretty up close and personal with you. You offended him, he didn't show him any respect, so he sends you messages through your friends, to your face. He confronts you about it. This bomb doesn't seem to fit the okay, pack. you're assuming that Franco's gonna use the bomb against a lot of people. What if he isn't? And what if it's just Sam? Okay, thanks. Hey, did you find anything else at the studio besides bomb specs? No, Max had the place pretty torn apart by the time I got there. Not that it was neat and tidy to begin with. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Fair Max Mason was at Franco's studio? Uh, yeah, she said she was looking for something. Uh, where is she now? I think she went back to work. I need to call her. No, no, Spinelli, you need to continue to search for me, please. Oh, okay, Dominic, can you can you go to Crimson and just see what else Maxie remembers? Yeah. All right, just make sure that you, you're, you're patient with her and just be specific in what you ask her. Okay. Thanks. I'm busy. 
Uh, can I just go over a couple things with you? I'm expecting a phone call from Kate. Great. Uh, when you were at Franco's ransacking his place, can you just tell me what you saw? I didn't find anything. The place was a mess. But maybe you thought something was important and it could actually I really don't have time out. to do this right now, okay? Kate is very upset. Lulu chose today of all days to just walk out of the office. I actually thought she was with you because she's refusing to answer her cell phone. Do you have any idea where Lulu might be? I don't know. Maybe it's another family crisis. Isn't Those it unusual for Lulu to walk off the job, especially on a day where she said she'd cover for you? Wait, I know where you're what going What if Franco with this. took Lulu? 